Number nine, how to select properly. Before you make the final hiring decision, there are some key things that you can do. First of all, consider the corporate climate and the people mix in your company. This plays in a vital part in the new employee's future performance. Will he or she fit into your corporate culture and climate? Will he or she be happy in your business? This is very important. Use the family member method of selection. Ask yourself, would I feel comfortable inviting this person to my home to have dinner with my family on Sunday night? This is a great question because it gives you a very good inner sense of whether or not this person will fit in with you and others. Would you put your son or daughter to work with this person or under this person? If not, why not? When you think of assigning one of your children to work under this person, you get a much clearer picture of whether or not this person is appropriate for your business for the long term. Finally, do you genuinely like this person? You should only hire people who you genuinely like and enjoy. Would you be comfortable working with this person for the next 20 years? Remember, long-term vision dramatically improves short-term decision-making. Finally, review your feelings with other people who will be working with this person. Listen to them carefully and then take some time by yourself to decide whether or not this is the right person for you. A friend of mine went through an exhaustive hiring process where he interviewed 35 candidates, many of them several times. At the end of the process, he decided not to hire any of them. After years of experience, he has learned that a bad hiring decision is worse than no hiring decision at all.